Hello everybody and welcome back to the Forza Horizon 3 information show. So today guys, what I'm going to be discussing with you today, um, I'm going to be discussing about why I believe uh, Forza Horizon 3 should go slightly back to Forza Horizon 1 um, involving Playground games. Uh, now this isn't the developer I'm talking about Playground games, I'm talking about the custom fun games that was a playlist in Forza Horizon 1. I'm going to go to, into a bit of detail about that. Um, obviously this is only my opinion, so some of you may disagree, some of you may agree, that's perfectly okay. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh, once you've heard everything uh, in this video. But before we go on to today's video guys, if you are new around here, this is the Forza Horizon 3 information show, and what we do on the show today guys, is we discuss Forza Horizon 3 to the max, up to the game's release uh, in September, and then obviously a load more videos to come after that, so stay tuned for those. If you do go on to, to d enjoy today's video guys, all I ask is that you slap that like button as hard as you can, and subscribe so you never miss a future Forza Horizon 3 informational video. So let's get straight into the video. So my favourite Forza so far has to be Forza Horizon 1, uh, mainly for this feature. A basic theme of mine and my friend's experience was that after we had completed much or all of the single player side, um, we went all in with the multiplayer. So with our customised cars that had no drivetrain conversions, we all entered the Playground Games playlist and never looked back. So we played it non-stop for about two years or so, and even went back to it after we were swiftly done with Forza 5's crap multiplayer, let's be honest. The playground style of engagement was very appealing to us, and it gave our car club meaning. It also meant our shared cars and vinyls were used to promote our fun-loving team. King, Infected, and Cat and Mouse was the best things ever, and we returned every night to play and level up, enjoy our little car culture, and talk about ours and our competitors' cars. For a game that lacked police, and in Horizon 2's case, any illegal feeling street racing at all, uh, the Playground Games playlist gave us a sense of excitement, uh, and waiting to start, we would talk about the new cars and our tunes, whether they were C, A, or B class. We would talk about our liveries, and once in the game, King or Infected, we would show them while, show them off while hooning around, competitively dodging opponents or running them down. We also greatly, greatly appreciated the star system that was implemented in Forza Horizon 1, uh, which rewarded players with more XP if they performed donuts, drifts and things like that. Me and my friends would always go first f uh, for the 5 stars, whilst obviously dodging the Infected or larking about after being the King so we could race each other to a proverbial in-game win. We would call out honestly once we got it, and we all loved it, so it was actually really, really fun. The other thing was Cat and Mouse, um, which was to us the greatest test of teamwork in a car game ever, and it was pretty damn good. In King, we, we hooled around, driving with our best skills to escape a pack, then infected, we were teaming up to shut down some impossibly awesome driver who we also loved chasing. Then it was the cat and mouse, so we know people would quit because many people rage quit on that game, um, but we stayed in it, and it was our chance to be Dom, Brian, and Letty in our own full, um, fast and furious boosting and blocking a couple of old Jaguars as we blistered around the old river road or c drifting crazily as GTRs down some orange canyon trying to stifle some little old Peugeot over the line. We also loved being the mouse and playing as a team to get it across the line. But then it went into Forza 5. Now, Forza 5 was a bit of a, a morbid multiplayer, to be honest, so the playground games in that sucked intensely, in my opinion. The hood was all wrong, the stage was broken, people escaping all day, people in Katie rooms had impossible advantages being able to fit between the crates, and there was no match timer. We uh, we paying, paying players uh, ended up sitting around the most games, hoping that the player who had escaped the king, or was the last non-infected, would return, and then there was one stage. Then there was the almost perfect Forza Horizon 2, which was perfect in every way apart from the fact that it lacked the playlist and the matchmaking. So I know it had it, but it definitely was not the same. Um, there were no cat and mouse of all things, and it certainly wasn't very fun online for me and my friends. Uh, the idea of 1000 player clubs were pointless to us, and Horizon 1 had done it first and done it better. We had to push ourselves to play for the 100 game achievement, and then when we had played hundreds of games in Horizon 1 without blinking, you know, it's about the same as one game in Forza Horizon 2. But anyway, with Forza Horizon 3 um, coming to us in September, um, I definitely do want them to implement some kind of playground games. I'm, I hope you guys agree with me on this one. Um, I definitely love the sporting discipline that all the players needed, uh, given the variety they showed up in to complete and parade their car. So I do ask playground games, please add a playground games playlist to Forza Horizon 3. 
preferably in the same vein as it was in Forza Horizon 1. That would be my personal uh, wish list just for that. Um, but then again, guys, that is all my opinion, so you may agree, you may disagree, that's perfectly fine by me. Um, but let me know in the comments, guys, what you thought of the Playground Games feature in Forza Horizon 1, and whether you thought um, matchmaking was better in Forza Horizon 1, and if it was actually um, more stable in Forza Horizon 2 with a uh, seamless transition, as it will be in Forza Horizon 3 as well. Um, but yeah, let, let, let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below, guys. But that is basically it from me in this video, guys. I did hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.